Hello everyone, welcome to ecomhardy.com. This is Hardik Patel and in this video, I'm going to show you the special plugin I like about inventory management. So if you're using, if you're having the WordPress WooCommerce website, this tool will be really handy. And this plugin is free of cost. You don't have to spend any single dollar. Also, one more thing is this video is only for the people who are managing the inventory in-house. If you are a dropshipper, maybe you can skip this video and go to my other videos or you can stay with this video and gain the knowledge. So let's get started. Here I am on the WordPress admin panel dashboard. You can see under the plugins, I have all the plugins open. If you are just on the dashboard like this, you can simply go to the plugins to install this free plugin. So simply go to plugins and add new and the plugin name is Atom, A-T-U-M. Simply search in the search bar and you will find this plugin, the first one, Atom WooCommerce Inventory Management and Stock Training. Simply click on Install Now and then Activate. Once you activate this plugin, it's uh, straightforward. Simply you will see on the left hand side panel, the Atom Inventory Plugin uh, tab will open up and you can hover over the tab and you will see all the options. Let me go to the dashboard first. So go to the dashboard here. This is the dashboard. It is possible in your case, the dashboard would be empty. Simply scroll down and add more widgets. So here you will see all the free widgets available. You can simply click and add the widgets you like to add. So in my case, I would like to go with current stock value, lost sales, orders, promo code, promo sales, sales, uh, item statistics, stock control, etc. Video tutorial, if you like to activate, up to you. If you are new, simply activate this widget and it will drag you to video tutorials, which will help you to understand how to operate this plugin. Then once you add the widgets, simply close it and all these panels shows up. So the first panel is statistics. So in here, it will show you the data. You can also check the previous year's data. You can check the monthly data, etc. Uh, this website is brand new and uh, fresh so you will see there is no any data available right now once you have the ongoing website with lots of sales or products you will see the graph ups and downs like that now there are three choice of graphs here so the first one is line chart the second one is area chart and the third one is bar chart now scroll down here you will see the sales figures lost sales figures promo sales and you can also select for today or for this month etc now you, once you scroll down you will see here stock control where you will see how many items you have in stock how many items are out of stock and how many are not managed or restock status the current stock value also will be very helpful to understand how much stock you have in-house go to the second option which is stock central now in the stock central you have all the inventory here under the stock central you can manage few things to expand the variable products simply click here and it will expand the tab and you will see all the variations you can edit the variation from here so you can add the supplier by clicking to add the supplier once you add the name ABC or whatever you can set and it will register the supplier name you can also add the multiple suppliers by clicking again and set another supplier supplier SKU simply click here and you can enter the supplier SKU here which is handy to understand to know and to order the same product again and again from the same supplier barcode if you have barcode like ean or upc handy you can enter the barcode here the this is uh, for the location purpose so you can add the location now regular prices is this one sales price you can adjust the sales price also by clicking into the sales price option you can also choose the sales price start and end date so like simply start date and end date so it will set the sales price between that period of time only now go to purchase price so this is your purchase price so 
this product, this particular product, how much you are purchasing for. It's simply type the value here. In my case, just imagine I'm buying this item for $5, then 5 and then enter, and it will register here. Now, whatever data you enter here, it's not saving automatically. You have to save by clicking this save button. So simply click the save button and it will add the data here. So the purchase price, if you expand here, you can see I added the purchase price $5. I'm selling it for $24. So my gross profit is 79%. So this again will be helpful to you to understand how much profit you want to set per item you are selling. Now, when you hover over the profit, it will also show you in the terms of the value. So you can see here $19. So that is the gap between 24 and five. The current stock, you can adjust the current stock as well. So now if you imagine you already got this item in stock and you receive five quantity of this. So I can change the five and set, that means it will change the quantity to your store. Now, in my case, I haven't got the stock yet, so I make it to zero again. Low stock threshold. You can set the low stock threshold for your understanding and to your knowledge. It will make you aware when you like to purchase again for the same SKU. So in my case, I want to set the low stock threshold to three and set and stock reselling manager. So currently it is showing out of stock because it is not in stock, so it's cross. If it's in stock, it will be green tick. Now let me save it. Once you save the changes, it saves here. Expand the thing, low stock threshold is saved. Now scroll down, you can set everything one by one. So you can see if, if the item is grayed out like this or you hover over it will show whether it's simple product or variable product so once you added the inventory and also the prices purchase prices like in my case i added all the purchase prices here and i also added the current stock values like one one whatever current stock i have for this skus if you scroll down currently i don't have the stock available for this product so it's zero and then if I go and read the data, so if I go to dashboard here, it shows, when you scroll down, it shows the current stock value. So how much stock I have physically. So I have 17 items in stock, okay? It is total number of items you have in stock and total number of value for those items. So if in your warehouse, how much uh, worth of items you have in stock. So that will be really helpful to you to understand for insurance purposes, for tax return purposes, and for your inventory management purposes. Now, when you go down to purchase orders, this is for your purpose. So purchase order, you can create a new PO. Purchase order is mainly for when you uh, buy the item, when you purchase the goods or inventory to sell. So you just write down here, if you purchase from Alibaba or, or eBay or Amazon, wherever, whichever suppliers you choose to go with, you, you can fill out here, the, you can fill out the purchase number, purchase order number. If you have multiple suppliers, you can tick multiple suppliers, but in my case, I would just want to go with one supplier. So let me search. So I have these two suppliers registered. By the way, if you want to register the suppliers, you can always go to the suppliers here and it will allow you to add the suppliers. So you simply click add new suppliers and you fill out all this information for your reference only and it will help you to contact the same supplier again just by going through the suppliers directory you, uh, you created. Now in my case I have created two suppliers here. You, you can see here the Ninja jewelry supplier with the phone number, with email address, uh, the dollar value. So I am dealing with this supplier in US dollars. So I just set the currency in US dollars, the address of the suppliers, the business address, I mean, and also assigned to 
which uh, user you want to assign to the supplier. So if you are having the manager who is handling all these things, you can create the user name profile for the manager and you can select his name here and he will manage all these things. Now scroll down. Let me go back to the purchase order. Okay, once you added the suppliers, you simply create a new PO and fill out all these information. You can also uh, do one more thing. So it says set the supplier field above. So you have to set the supplier field first. Let me set it. Okay, once you select the supplier field, you can add the items. So, so when you go to add items, add product and you can search for the product. Okay. And all the products will come up by the name you type and you can select the product add and you can also select the costing of the product also you can add how many items you are buying okay from the supplier and save so once you save here it will show the value how much you are spending with the supplier and with this current purchase order for simple purpose i have you can see i started new PO it's showing pending so I haven't created yet now these two POs are having different status one is on the way so I created this PO with the supplier supplier already sent the goods and it's on the way right now let me open it and show you so I created purchase order date on the way status expected delivery date given by the supplier and i added all these items okay with the quantity so currently i have 1109 dollars worth of items on the way and all these items are either in us dollars or your local currency whichever currency you set in your woocommerce store so once you've done that you would know this stock is coming worth of this much value you can add the note here you can also add extra note here for your reference okay and then you can also generate the PDF. So when you click on generate PDF, it will create like this, the purchase order. Okay. And the supplier name, the address, etc. These addresses are for reference only. Those are not real addresses. Now, when you go to inbound stock here, you can see these items are on the way. The stock is still uh, not fulfilled. And the inventory you are expecting is this much for each SKU okay now the date order you can see here and also when you are expecting this inventory if you go to the settings here you can see a lot of different settings by chance if you face the trouble getting the data fetched from your WooCommerce store to Atom inventory plugin uh, interface what you can do is if you don't see many products here simply go to the settings and you can fix the issue i face the same thing when i install the plugin for the first time somehow all the items were not fetched properly so what i did to fix the data fetch issue i went to the tools here and i update the stock by clicking the control stock and update now button and also i select the manage stock and click update now that way it updated all the stock i also clear the out of stock threshold so it reset and i also change the calculated product properties to 400 and then update you can also clear the transient sometimes if the stock values are not showing correctly you can simply clear the transient by simply clicking the clear now button and that way it will fix the stock values now everything is done last but not least i forgot to tell you you when you are on the stock central when you check all these products if you want to edit any product particularly then you simply click on the product and it will open into the new tab and whole product edit page will open up okay and you can change all these things whatever things you want in woocommerce edit page you can also change the purchase price here and you can also change the inventory by going to the inventory management page if you want to toggle the atom control switch off you can switch off from here as well uh, so this plugin is really helpful and it's free of cost 
you must use this plugin if you are having inventory in-house to get the clear picture of your inventory and stock how much you have in handy and you can project how much stock you can buy and sell in future so hopefully you learned something new today hopefully this video has been helpful to you if you think so please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel ecom hardy you can also go to my website ecomhardy.com if you face any troubles or issues related to wordpress and woocommerce feel free to comment me in comment box below and i would love to reply to your comment as soon as possible thank you for watching take care see you next time bye bye